Hey everyone. Here we have an Asus GTX 680 Direct CU2 top, which is supposed to be the best there is. I'm gonna just do a quick uh, unboxing and review on this, so let's just open it up. Uh, lighting is a little bit weird, but I hope it's gonna be fine. It is 1080p camera, after all. <laughs> what is going on? It's a little bit stuck, but okay, here we go. And as you can see, the box is pretty simple, but nice. Like gold text, I like that. It's pretty nice. And also this manual thing, it's golden. We're not going to use that, so... And there's the card itself. Nice padding. It came actually in that static bag, but I did open it before. So... Uh, this looks a lot bigger than my current one, which is uh, GTX 680 Phantom by Gainward. It looks a lot bigger to be honest. And it has a nice back panel which should actually add a better cooling to it. It's definitely a lot longer. But here's a closer look for you. That back panel you can easily grab it like that, that's that's good. And it's just general it looks pretty cool to be honest. And I think this cooler is the best it has really good uh, boost speeds and clock speeds takes up free uh, free slots but again the phantom takes also free slots it just doesn't have that top grill I just pointed on it just has the cooler in front of it but I don't know it looks really nice to be honest I kinda like the phantom look on the top that it has the grill on top of the fans and fans are like between the grills but it looks pretty nice and it has racing stripes that's the same connectors, 8 and 6. Uh, damn, it's shiny. Uh, everything else should be same as on Phantom. I mean, connectors and stuff. Uh, I don't know. I think I have to downclock it a little bit. But anyway, in uh, short, I'll explain a few things about SLI, how it works, and answer the question, does SLI double your memory? Well, no, it doesn't. It doesn't double the VRAM. And the reason for that is very easy, because if you have them in SLI, both cards have the exact copy of each other's memory. And on request, they just send necessary information to your display. That's why the SLI bridge, so graphics cards can communicate directly. So the memory VRAM is exact copy of each other, and they just use it when necessary. If it wouldn't be exact copy, you might ask, why is it exact copy? Well, because if it's not exact copy, then it will um, double also the bandwidth, the communication between the CPU and your graphics cards, and that will bottleneck the graphics cards, and you won't get the performance of SLI. So, that's that's why. That's why you have both cards like that, so... I have to change the clock speeds, I guess, on this one, because this is a lot higher clocked graphics card than uh, my Phantom. I think I'm gonna take... That's actually, that's aluminium, by the way. That's aluminium, yeah. But, yeah, I'll take the other, uh, other firmware and put it on this one. I'll plug it in and leave some stuff in the description, so check it out, performance and stuff like this, and I'll see you next time.